Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. My dogs are... My, my puppy is irritating my older dog. So, there's probably going to be some barking and snarling going on in a second. Uh, so, anyway, it's George's birthday. Oh, no. I just, just eat the spicy eel. So, let's have breakfast. And then we have some stuff to go over... Uh, in recap of our previous episode. So, um, as, as you remember in the last one, we did the Skull Cavern run. At the end of the day, there was chaos uh, with the market mod, where I'm pretty sure it was the market mod that caused a, a bug, and we got stuck in the bus. So, I went back, replayed the day, but all I did was go through my morning chores and then give myself all of the stuff that I got during that run. And here's the list. Uh, some of these I didn't bother to give myself because it didn't really matter, plus the money side of it. Anyway, uh, four quality sprinklers, a purple mushroom, iridium quality, 15 cactus seeds, five cranberry sauce, two slime, red slime eggs, 29 oh. omni geodes, hey, two rain totems, a white turban, two auto grabbers, 640 stone, 241 iron, 47 coal, 155 gold, three topaz, 233 copper, seven rubies, five bone fragments, two aqua, aquamarine, eight amethyst, five clay, some crab cakes, six slime, four, uh, 14 void essence, a piece of white algae, three emeralds, six prismatic shards, five cave carrots, two fire quartz, four regular quartz, two diamonds, frozen tear, four wood, one jade, 646 iridium, and last but not least, an auto petter. Now, the one thing I don't know that I did was go here. Okay, I did also use up staircases, and I don't remember how many bombs we had, uh, so I took myself down to 100 bombs. I also need to trash one Desert Warp Totem. Because we used that at the beginning of the day. Forgot about that. And since I had to throw some stuff away, I didn't give myself some of the stuff that was on that list to kind of make up for it. But this was a huge score. The Auto Petter. Jojo Co. Patented technology for coops and barns. Keeps your animals content, but can't... I think we read this last time, so we're not going to read it again. But anyway, it pets your animals. It doesn't make them happier. It just keeps them as happy as they are. So, let's get moving. Uh, we have some crops ready. We need to make sure we remember to fill up our uh, silo on the last day of the year. Or maybe even the day before, but not a huge deal. Uh, so nothing in the greenhouse. What would this 19 be? That's a weird number. Oh, I know what it is. At the end of that last episode, the um, crop fairy came and sprinkled her magic dust on some of my um, artichokes. Not all of them, though. So, we'll still get to see if our um, speed grow worked, but for most of them it won't matter. So, that's pretty cool. We already know how to make stir-fry. Let's get a move on. Alright, let's check our... Uh... Ooh, we have some gold, I believe, melon wine down there. Yeah, see, we still have one row of them that's not done yet. Uh, we got a cash back rewards program rebate from Pierre for 370G. Not a huge deal. Early in a playthrough, those would be super relevant, but late in a playthrough, it's like pfft, 370G. I wake up in the morning and I throw that much money on the fire to get it burning. Hey, no. But anyway. Alright, so. What are we going to do today? It's Wednesday the 24th, George's birthday. We need to grab a leak to give him. Um, so we'll figure out something. You know what we need to start doing? I will... Oh, oh, oh. We need to start remembering to uh, 
Oh, that doesn't work. I was kind of hoping that it would, but it sort of makes sense that it doesn't, I guess. Um, nope, nope, nope. Well, whatever. We're in here. Let's go ahead and do it. Say hi to these guys. Um, so we'll get a leak to give the George. Sorry for the radio silence there. I don't like dead air, in case nobody's noticed that yet. I will just talk just to be talking, and I'll say dumb stuff. That's completely irrelevant. But it's just so we don't have silence. So there you go. But anyway, um, lots going on in our household. I know I've talked about, you know, trying to get ready to sell the house. That's still a work in progress. And my realtor is actually coming over today. We have our inspection later today. In fact, it's starting any moment. But it won't be done for a few hours or whatever. And then I'm going to go meet with the uh, inspector to go over the findings. Let's keep that, right? Yeah. But anyway, that's... Uh... Oh, gosh, I'm so distracted, y'all. <clears throat> Let's go back to the barn and... Throw those in there. We got 63 truffles in there. That's not that bad. Uh, wait, we're not done yet. We might actually go and cut some wood today. Oh, I forgot to put out my auto petter. I think we're going to put it in the barn. It doesn't matter too much. Where should we put it? Let's put it like... No. No, Jonah. No. Jonah! I want it close to the door. And let's put this over there. Alright. Um, but anyway, we got the inspection coming up. No spreadage over there. That's okay, though. Uh, and then my realtor is going to want to come over to our house and just take some preliminary pictures of uh, our house so that he can share it internally with, you know, some other realtors at his agency. Um, just to see if there's anybody that would be, like, interested in making an offer before we even list it or whatever. Uh, so we kind of had to, like, you know, we, we've been rushing to try and get it ready to list, period. But now it's, like, super-duper crunch time. So I've been working my tail off over the last several days. So the rubies will be ready in a little bit, but they're not ready yet. So we'll be getting them tonight. Now, we should probably go, go into our... I was thinking about this. Let's go into our mining chest and grab like a bunch of this stuff. I don't think I need anywhere near that much iron, but we are low on iron bars. And let's put all that stuff, let's just go like that. Okay, now we've got a bunch of this stuff to smelt. Now, I'm gonna do gold, because I'm thinking, how much do I need? 40, right? I'm thinking that we will, um, what am I thinking? I'm thinking that we will build a Crystallarium Empire at the, what you who's it, uh, Rock Quarry. So I don't need any artichokes, right? Yeah, just making 100% sure. We should start saving, oh yeah, we need to start saving more caviar and stuff, guys. And dinosaur eggs. But it's not a huge deal. <clears throat> um, Alright, we can sell all of that stuff. And then I say we go cut some wood. Because if we're going to start burning through some coal, let's 
start working on re replacing it, right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. phone buzzed on me. Let's just go find George real quick and give him his birthday gift and then we'll go cut some trees. I think we'll just go down to the forest. Hey George, how's that new remote treating you? I wish my lights worked so I could play with that Oh man, you could still play catch. It wouldn't be as easy, but it's doable. You remember my birthday! I'm impressed! Thanks! <laughs> I wonder if that gets us a cutscene with him. Nope. He's... Is he at Max Hearts? Yeah, he sure is. And... Why is that... Why does that have a lock symbol? Oh, because I gave him one on his birthday. That's interesting that they added that little feature there. If you give him one on his birthday, it really doesn't count. We're not going to get this done, but we can just cheat and give ourselves however many are left, which we'll probably do just because I don't want to have to do that one. Uh, Haley just said, if you're ever bored, come on over and visit, which is, again, like, I mean, maybe she's being innocent. But, I don't want to start the rumor mill. I don't want to feed the rumor mill. You know what I mean? I saw Devin going over to Haley's room at 8.30 last night. I wonder what that's about. Maybe a little bit of sister envy going on there. Because I married Emily. I mean, let's be honest. I'm filthy rich. So, if you look around town, there's not a ton of competition that can stack up with old Evan here. Plus, I have a pretty crazy sense of taste. I'm just a wild and fun guy. Everybody wants to be my friend. So, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I am super duper tired, though. <clears throat> like, I've been... In the last, like, three days, every single day, I've spent hours outside working on our landscaping and stuff. Uh, like, the first, let's see, what day would that have been? Saturday, I, um, I fixed a little drainage trench thingy, a dry creek bed, I guess you would call it, that I built put some more gravel in it to kind of make it look nice. <clears throat> that was a pretty... That, I mean, that job, it was hard, but at least it wasn't blazing hot when I did it. And then on Sunday, I took down an old section of fence. Like, we, when we moved into this house, the fence was built right on the edge of a creek, which... You know, good for them to get every inch of space out of your yard. But, old Mother Nature, with just a little bit of erosion, exposed fence posts, basically. Making it to where, like, the fence was eventually going to just probably fall down. Now, it would have taken a while, but it would have been completely unstable, and it was starting to bend, and stuff like that. Because there were parts of it where, like one of the 4x4s wasn't really helping support the fence, and if anything, it was, like, weighing it down. So, anywho, I took out that old fence, and I lost three pounds doing it. And, um, you know, a lot of it was water weight, and I drank a lot of water uh, during and after that job to try and, you know, stay hydrated and you know, rehydrate. Still lost three pounds. And then yesterday, as I'm sitting here, I was, thankfully I wasn't like on a call or anything for work. I got a Charlie horse in my hamstring that lasted at least 10 minutes. I mean, I was in misery. And I'm like, 
I'm, thank God the kids weren't here because I'm cussing up a storm because it hurt so bad. It was the worst Charlie horse I've ever had. And I've had some bad ones. That one was the worst. So, hey, Heidi, stop. She's over there just chewing on sheets. <sighs> what a knucklehead. <laughs> Alright, it's 350. We kind of accomplished what we wanted to uh, on the mainland today. Heidi, stop, please. For the love of Pete, stop chewing on the sheets. I'm kind of hoping the rubies are done. Yeah. So let's do that. Pop that in there. Grab some more of that. And this is where a hopper would be... Or a uh, automate mod would be pretty sweet. I could put one here and put like gold and that stuff and then wood so that it would feed all of those. But anyway, we'll, we'll figure it out. What am I doing? Oh. I'm like, why do I have these gold bars? Dirt. That went fast. I forgot how fast that went. Oh. Alright, let's get out of here before those things pop back up and entice me to stick around. Alright, so mining... Just go like that. And then foraging. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I do need that sh one of the chanterelles. Don't need the hazel. So, okay, so we can sell those couple of guys. Uh, did we ever... Did we ever... Craft... Deluxe scarecrows? No. Uh, we we can do that when the time comes, but I, th I almost want to put them out as a reminder at the end of fall. But I think I'll remember. Once fall is over and all of our crops are gone, we can um, we can reposition our sprinklers and do a little bit of renovating on the farmstead because we won't need as many scarecrows although no we won't reposition our sprinklers necessarily but we might shrink down our um fields and the reason would be to be able to then take advantage of junimo huts you know what i'm saying um so we'll figure that out, I guess, when the time comes. I don't like having this stuff on me, so let's put that and that away. Why am I keeping these extra clams? I guess maybe I wanted to have 20. Willy. Hey, man. Can you, uh... Gosh. Can you take me... What? Well, you know what that means. Whoop. Can I even warp to the island? Let's just warp... Well, I wanted to just warp to the dock. Let's just warp to Leo's house. He's not home. Well, let's get a clue, though. What? Two hidden in the west. What? Alright, it's 620. Before it gets dark, I'm going to freeze time. We're at that point of this playthrough. Um, there's something... Right here. There's one. I can't see how many I have. I think that says seven. We're going to find some... Uh, we're going to find some walnuts today. So just prepare yourself. 
No, I don't have 20 for you. Okay. Uh, there was one buried in the north, and I feel like somebody gave me a hint as to where it was. We need to guess here. I think we guessed 17 last time. Let's guess 16. Mm. I should just look it up and get it over with. Um, oh, here's another thing. I had at one point said, like, hey, I think uh, I just need to finish the little Buddha Frog quest to unlock another part of the island. But now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure that's wrong. I'm pretty sure I need... Um, I think I need to finish the field office to unlock that part of the island. And we're really not even that close. There are still several... There's a, another fossilized leg. We don't need that one. Um, we still need several of the fossils. I don't know if I can reach that down there, but we need to try because... Nope, can't reach it. Rats. Let's keep that out. Ooh, we got an artifact trove. Maybe we'll get uber lucky and get the rare disc from that. And I mean uber lucky. Alright, I'm pretty sure we've combed all of this area. We Surely we dug that, right? Okay. I gotta start getting better at really looking for the golden walnuts as I'm running around. Let's drink another coffee, eat another eel, and I should have taken the Parrot Express, but I'm a moron. I'm pretty sure I dug this one up too. Oh! No, I didn't! That might be the one that was buried in the north. So that's a win. Okay, now, ready to harvest. Whoop. Oh no! I, I say yes. Okay, I'm gonna freeze time, play back to right here, because I'm not doing that again. Actually, uh,. I have an idea. <laughs> Sprinkle on kegs, furnaces, and other equipment to instantly receive their product. I don't think that works on uh, crops, but we're going to try it. If it works, it's going to save me a lot of effort here. No, doesn't work. So, sit tight, and we'll be back in just a second. All right, we're back. And um, one, two, I guess two notable things that have that were different from this time around when I played through it. Uh, when I went to the dig site, I was digging up the artifact spots, and I got a snake skull, which I'm pretty sure I already have. Where the last time I did it, I got that artifact trove. So that was kind of a downgrade. Um, I also went into the little cave where the professor was stuck and got some mushrooms. And then since I didn't get my artifact trove as a consolation prize, I actually went into the field office and guessed again and got the answer correct about the number of purple starfish, which is... Uh, for anybody who doesn't want spoilers, go ahead and mute your audio. The answer is 18. Um, and so we got one more golden walnut for that. Now, I left the melon out there. The pink thing, the juicy thing. You be growing the thing outside now, bub? Yep. And he's going to sneak out there like... 
Look at him. Um, yes, Bombo Pink, Bombo Juicy, bringing me back to the good old days, sunny days when things are being sweeter. Slurp, <clears throat> me wanna take a big Bombo Juicy bite, but me won't. Uh, Alright, now what? Grab it. Yes, thank you, thank you to you. This is bringing me back to the good times long, long ago, but here, this stuff for you. Three. Whoa, 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 how many? I think that's 14 now. Did he give me five? Go up the last. Okay, so, me wish to see in the team and want some more. Me want to see the longo yellow tickling thing. The thing that be a waving in the wind. I'm not growing that, but I know what that is. Long yellow thing that be tickling in the wind. That uh, is gonna be wheat. So we need a wheat seed. And we need to harvest that. Plant that. It'll be ready in four days. There you go. Uh, let's go ahead in here, and I don't need that anymore. I don't know if I need... I don't need red, purple. I need morels. I don't need you. So, we can sell all the mushrooms. Those guys can go in there. That can go there. Uh, yeah, and then mining. Boom, 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 boom. Fishing equipment. Where am I keeping that? In here? Yeah. Now, <clears throat> artifacts. I don't have one of those. So we're going to put this in with minerals, I guess. For now. If I have to get rid of it later, we will. It's not a big deal. So sell that stuff. Now, let's go hunting for a couple more... <clears throat> um, walnuts. I don't remember... Somebody gave me a hint or two. Maybe here? No, I think we already got that one. What I need to do is cut down trees so that I can see immediately behind them. I mean, you can sort of see through it, but it's okay if I cut these down. They're just mahogany trees. Oh, there's one. I can see it. Boop. All right. I'm going to cut you down anyway, mahogany tree. Okay, so that's a good start. Now, I, I think there are still a few more over this direction somewhere. But I'm not precisely sure where. <clears throat> but that's a pretty productive day. Uh, let's go talk to Birdie after we grab this coconut, though. What'd you say? Hey, Birdie. Have you been to the secret shrine in the jungle? The flowers there smell lovely. It's one of my favorite spots on the island. So she's giving you a hint there is what that is. I don't know that there are any more over here. Somebody said something about, like, north of these guys. There being a spot. I feel like... But I don't see... Maybe if I fish in here? No, that's not even deep enough. It's just a tidal pool. Oh! Boop. There we go. So, we did pretty well. I'm sure there are still more that we're missing. Did I get this one? Yeah. But, we made progress. Oh, there we go. That might be the other one that they were saying was... Ooh! Snake vertebrae! We can go donate that. 
Let's not get too excited, though. 22 more days for that thing to mature. Uh, let's take the Wonka Vader. To the dig site. If we get really lucky, there will be... Man, no... No ore in the river. What's going on with that? I know one of the fossils comes from there. Okay, so if I go like that, boom. Now we need that one. We need the fossilized bat, which I believe comes from the volcano. We need this dude's skull and tail, I think. So. I mean, and again, I could just give myself those things if I really wanted to. But we don't need to push it that much. You know, let's actually organically find those things. Unless it gets out of control. and We're chasing the freaking... Um, if we're chasing the what you who's it forever, the darn like fossilized bat or whatever, we'll make an exception. You know what? Let's just no. That's the last thing I'm gonna build. Priorities. Yes. Wanted to kill that guy before he snuck away. Oh, same thing here. I don't care if he hits me. I just want to kill him. Didn't get the dragon's tooth. Let's uh, actually get rid of some of this stuff. Do I need... No, I don't need the urchins anymore. We'll keep the mussels. And put away the bone fragments. Alright, let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, time is frozen. I forgot about that. So we're actually going to probably have another one-day episode. But it's all good in the neighborhood. We're just having fun. You know? But we'll make our way through the volcano dungeon. Wow, this is a big, nasty level to, for a level one. You know, for the first room, they're making this one pretty challenging here. Uh, I want this little guy. Ooh, there's a guy over there. Well, I need to... Ah, run! Come up to the edge. Do it. Dang it. Give me... Dragon's teeth, you rascal. Miss! Ha 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 ha! Dang it! Anything over there that I really want doesn't look like it. I gotta get up there. What a first level. Jeez Louise, this one is like... Lots of effort to get to the end of this one. handled it pretty well, though. Hey, we got a piece of ginger out of that guy. I didn't even know you could do that. Let's just look over there for a pressure plate. Since there's not one. Ooh, a warp totem to the island. Saves me a thousand bucks and the time of having to run to Willy's, right? Dragon's too. come on! Dang it! Jerk face. I want that thing. And that cinder shard. Oh, come on with this. Let's 
So, some of those things that I just killed there can drop what you who's it's golden walnuts. So you want to try and get them if you can. You definitely want to get the cinder shards if you see them, because you will eventually need a bunch of them if you're going to do awesome things. And we're going to do awesome things. Right? I should probably get this gold. We're going to need lots of that. If I think we're going to add crystallariums to the quarry to try and fill out that space. I think it's just a good option that's productive. We've got resources for them. Although we might not have like all the resources that we need for them, but we've got a pretty, oh my gosh. This is not going well here. These things remind me of the flying skulls in the uh, stone, in the quarry mine. Oh my gosh, die. And now the other one's coming at me. You gotta be kidding. Dragon's Tooth. Dang it. Uh, I see you up there, little guy. Nope. Let's go ahead and eat. Energy was like halfway down. Makes me a little nervous. I see this guy down here. The exit's down here anyway, so... Anything up there noteworthy? I don't see anything crazy good, so... Ooh, a center shard. Thanks, buddy. I'm gonna buy some bombs from this guy. We've got tons of money. We just bought 200 bombs, and we still have 600 grand. So, that's cool. Wait, what is he... Oh, yeah, 100 cinder shards for the cinder clown shoes. Now, they're awesome, but they're expensive. I want them so bad. I just want to give myself 100 cinder shards and buy them. So, if you have any objections to that, let me know. Because <laughs> it's really tempting. You know what I mean? Am I keeping... I'm not keeping magma caps in there. Which is interesting because... I kind of think of them as... A year-round thing since they come from the island. I'm keeping these with me for now. I'm also going to put those right there. And then, for the love of Pete... Get rid of the coconut. So now I have some bombs. Should I... Wait, wait, wait. Should I require them? Ooh, and a cave carrot. So valuable. Uh... I see a guy over there and a guy over there that we definitely want. He missed. He shot, but he missed. Can I get up to him in time? Yes! Dragon's Tooth! Heck yeah! No, that's not gonna work. Stay right there. Yes! Two in a row! Oh, that's huge. How many do I have? Four. That's not bad. It takes a while for those... Oh, can I get a couple more? I might need a uh, platform. Okay, we got one. Come on, dude. Come on over here. There you go, buddy. There you go. He's like, this clown is getting right there where I can get him. Sucker. Alright. 
I'm gonna run up here and drop a bomb. Glad that guy moved away, because now I can just... Avoid him. How many times have I already said that the Volcano Dungeon music is awesome? Because I'm going to say it again. Oh no, we got one of the annoying ones. Oh, he wasn't that bad actually. Bring it on! Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh. I see you over there. A little flying. Flying flame thingy. <laughs> uh. No, I wanted you to blow all that stuff up. Ooh, pineapple seeds. All right, so use my own bomb. Nobody makes me use my own bombs. <laughs> Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Where am I? Oh, down here. Look at all of these stupid things. This is going to be terrible. I'm probably going to need to eat on this level. Die. And there it is. That's why those things are the worst. I need a critical strike. Got him! I kind of pulled a rope-a-dope. I got him to freeze. And then you gotta run at him. Ah! Almost. This is the worst! I still have one more of these things to kill. Hey, you dropped me some cinder shards. Okay, there's a dragon's tooth right there. So, so far, this trip is a... a turn and... <laughs> oh, come on. You tell me I can't hit him. Oh, there's another dragon's tooth right there. Unbelievable. And we got a journal scrap. Heck yeah. This is incredible. Come on. Come right here to the edge. Nope. Is there anything up here I need? His flame burned out. Give me another one. Oh, that would have been epic. We got four dragon's teeth on this run. That is almost surely a personal best. Uh, take care of that guy just in case. Yeah, let's go right here with a bomb. Fortunately, a lot of that stuff fell into the water, but that's okay. Where the heck is the exit to this level? Way up there. I mean, that was a busy level, but it paid dividends. We got some awesome stuff there. We'll make it to the forge and then head back, because... miss. <laughs> now this is a weird floor because the exit is right here in the middle. But I have to go around. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to go around. There's the pl pressure plate right there. Is that the only one? No. Okay, so that opens that one. There's one over here. There's two over here actually. This is a wild floor. I I want to go up. No. Yeah, I want to go up here because there are some slimes that I'll need to kill, but... Oh, 
I didn't realize there was still a slime in there. Let's go ahead and eat. Do I want to go over there for any reason? No, I already... Oh, I do want to go get that. So... Where did that guy come from? Dragon scale boots. Don't I already have those? Oh my gosh. Buddy, would you just knock it off? This is how fast you are when the game... Like, when you first start the game. Is how fast I am when this guy slows me down. Let's go ahead and eat, I guess, as well. Just for the... <clears throat> health. Miss. Alright. Now... We're here at the forge, and I still don't remember how to talk to the monkeys. We need to do some, um, like, I want to enchant, like, for example, my, like, my sword is good to go, right? Let's go there, and now I need a prismatic shard, I believe. Let's go like this. I don't need those cave carrots. Everything else, I think, I'm okay with it going in there. In fact, I don't even really care about the cave carrots. I'm at the point now where, like, let's just hit the button and move on with our day. Uh, wait. Let's go here. No, no, no. Farmhouse. Boom. Dragon scale boots. And we now have two of those, so we can actually sell one. Back to the workshop. Let's go here. That's the last of our magma caps. Ocean foraging. No. Uh. Alright, let's just sell the stuff we're going to sell. bombs away and then I need a prismatic shard right we have 14 of them so no okay so that is I think that's down at the beach south of our farm area I feel like we dug there though but we'll do, we'll do that when we get back. Just to be 100% sure. Alright, so put the axe in there. Put that in there. Oh, I put my cinder shards away. Try that again. Boop. Boop. What does that do? It's powerful. I think that means that I now only need to hit the tree once and it comes down you know I might as well I might as well do my other tools right swift I think that means I can swing it faster Ready? Oh, look at it! That's fine with me. It's almost the same as, like, powerful. Let's go watering can next. Let's see what we get. Be infinite. Reaching. What does that mean? Does that mean it can go farther? Okay, so it's a 5x5 five five grid. Not a huge deal. Um, I'm going to try that one again, actually. Efficient. I don't think that that means... 
I think that just means you don't use any energy. I'm not real crazy about that one. Let me actually look that up, though, before I move on. There's one that I think it just, like, permanently fills up your watering can, and that's the one that I want. Uh, forge. Hang tight. Alright, so... Tool enchantments. Wait for me. Come on. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, no stamina drain. Bottomless is the one that we want. So. For our hoe. I don't really care. Swift is probably a good one. Alright, we're gonna try the. Oh, I don't have enough. I'm tired of this. I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do one free one and see if we get the watering can enchantment that we want. So. Sue me. Alright, watering can. Get in there. Come on, baby. Bottomless. Oh, I don't need to do that. Bottomless, bottomless, bottomless. There we go. It's now infinite. Okay? It can be refilled at any water source, but I don't need to because it's bottomless. It's forever full. Alright, so now our tools. This one is pretty much done except for one more enhancement, which we're nowhere close to getting yet. That one I'm happy with. That one I'm definitely happy with. And we'll go demonstrate that. This one, there's one that you can either, okay, you can get swift with it, which makes it swing faster. And then there's another one called generous, which gives you a 50% chance of double item after you dig. There's also one called Archaeologist, which gives you, gives you a double chance of finding artifacts in artifact spots. So, anyway, we'll give that one a try. There's one for fishing that I think is like Auto Hook. That would be cool, because we could just cast and then not even pay attention. I should just give myself that one. But I don't fish that much anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. <clears throat> well, that was fun. We got a lot done. Was there something? Oh, 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 oh. Let's go looking for that spot in the journal scrap. So if we go, sorry. Um, so if I go to collections, right there. Okay, that's. That is not this area, because there's two trees kind of sticking out, okay? So it's not there, but if we go down here, I think it is this spot right here. We haven't dug there. <gasps> and a pearl! So there we go. That might be the two that were buried in the west. I think we got them both today. Let's go ahead and unfreeze time, finally. This is going to be another long single day episode. Uh, we can put away the pearl. I think of it as ocean foraging. Although, yeah, let's do this. Come back here and grab that snake skull and put it in with artifacts. And then put the pearl in ocean foraging. That makes sense to me. Dragon scale boots. I don't even know if I can sell. We just have to trash them. We already have them. Oh, it gave me some money for them anyway. Weird. Alright. Let's head on to bed. And... See how we did for the day. Not a big financial day. Wow. 
that's a oh it's because i'm starting to kind of just save more stuff than sell just because i don't really care enough about the financial side of things like the money is going to come we're going to start selling ancient fruit wine and it's going to be amazing uh why am i going outside we don't need to go outside we just need to check this and see what's going on today 25th we're good on hay 77 crops ready that's going to be the artichokes already plus three other maybe like cranberries i don't know we'll figure that out and 62 ancient fruit so that's pretty much almost a full um greenhouse well not almost but that's a lot and then i think what i might do is leave them and let's get them all on the same cycle except for the one that's not oh look we have ancient wine ready up there i wonder how long that's been there haven't been paying attention to it but anyway lots going on on the farmstead in the next episode and then let's at least look at the calendar nothing either day so that'll do it for this episode if you haven't done so already please be sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button comment below and we'll see y'all next time